The Democratic National Committee is already making changes following the election of a new chairman and leadership team. Former U.S. Labor Secretary Tom Perez won the chairmanship last weekend. DNC members also elected a Wisconsin man, the committee's secretary. Jason Ray of Milwaukee is a longtime delegate. He joins us now from our Hearst Bureau in Washington. And Jason Ray, thanks very much for being on the program today. I, I mentioned you're a longtime delegate. You were first elected back in when you were 17 years old. You're 30 now. Uh, give me a sense as you look at your party. Wh where are the needs? And, and as secretary, how do you meet some of those needs? Yeah, absolutely, Mike. And, and first, thanks for having me. You know, I, I really think the party right now really needs to focus and return to a real uh, grassroots approach and really making sure that we're energizing uh, and organizing uh, on the local level, particularly in rural communities, particularly with millennials. Um, and I really see the role of secretary and, and the reason I ran uh, has an opportunity to really open up the party, to make the party more transparent uh, and more engaging. And I think that will go a long way in bringing folks into the party uh, and helping us win elections. You say you want to make it more transparent. Do you feel the party, quite honestly, was not as transparent as it needed to be, for example, in the last election cycle? I think there are always ways that the party can improve uh, and making sure that how we operate is open uh, and transparent to others. Uh, one of the things that I want to do as secretary is really opening up how the uh, party is governed, what happens, what decisions are made. Uh, and then when we look at the nominating process, really making sure folks know how they can participate, how they can get elected as convention delegates in 2020, uh, and really making sure that we are just sharing as much information uh, as we can with those that are interested. Uh, very briefly, do you feel that the party is all on the same page, or are there still divisions left behind by the 2016 election cycle? Do you feel there's still some healing left to do in your party? I actually think our party is coming together in a, in a remarkable way. We had a really competitive race for chair, uh, but all of the candidates really united together. And I think we saw that last Saturday when our new chair, Chair Tom Perez, uh, moved to nominate it by acclamation, uh, Keith Ellison as deputy chair. Uh, and I think we're really making great strides bringing the party together. I think there remains a real commitment to engaging uh, grassroots leaders to building a plan that is focused on every county that is going into red states and purple states and blue states and organizing. Uh, and I think we're all ready to start fighting and, and hopefully work to defeat uh, Donald Trump, but also to win elections from school board to city council uh, all the way up to U.S. Senate uh, in 2017 and 2018. You're from Rice Lake in the northwestern part of the, the state uh, originally, uh, now live in Milwaukee. But, but I, I want to ask you about your, your comment about reaching out to rural voters. Why have the Democrats not been able to, to, for example, play well in the northern part of Wisconsin in recent elections? What's happening here and how do you change it? You know, I, I'm always disappointed when I see, you know, Rice Lake in my home area uh, going more red every election cycle. And I think we as Democrats really do have a challenge in front of us in engaging uh, people in rural Wisconsin and rural America. I think it starts with we have to make sure that we're having an economic message that really resonates. Um, but more than that, I think it's really about making sure we are organizing uh, on the ground year round. The work of the DNC and the party uh, can't just be supporting candidates in presidential elections. It really has to be focused on making sure that we are building a year round operation, bringing people in, supporting candidates at the local level. And I think when we start doing that in, in places like Rice Lake and uh, Hayward and others, I think we're going to make some great strides really bringing in more folks to the party. And I think we're going to start winning elections there. Uh, you're a millennial. We mentioned that. You're, you're 30 years old. Uh, one of the things that Democrats seem to have to uh, figure out is how to get younger voters to vote more often, that they just don't vote on occasion. Uh, I, I, you're a Marquette grad uh, at the Student Union back in the April primary in 2016. It was packed. Bernie Sanders supporters. You fast forward into November on Election Day. Hillary Clinton is the candidate. Not packed. You could walk right in and vote. How do you get those millennials to go to the polls more often and vote for Democratic candidates? I think it requires a party having a real plan around millennial engagement that isn't just focused on elections and expecting them to show up. And I know it's a conversation that I've had with our new chair uh, as both youth council chair of the DNC, but also uh, in my new role as secretary, really focused on making sure that we're building a millennial engagement plan that will talk about issues, that will involve folks 
uh, not only when it comes to November, uh, but all year round. And I think that's a key part, is young people in particular want to know that they're valued and appreciated. And I think when we continue having that conversation and talking about the issues that matter to them, uh, we're going to see them coming to our side and joining our party at, at uh, higher levels. Jason Ray is the new secretary of the Democratic National Committee. He's a, a Milwaukee resident, and uh, we appreciate him being on the program today. Thanks very much for being with us. Thanks, Mike. And next, the author who says our country is proud of not knowing things.